Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Kane Productions, and welcome back to a new Hearts of Iron 4 modding video. Today, we are going to be discussing how to update your mod from 1.4 to 1.5. So, there are about eight things I want to go over real quick, and um, hopefully it'll get you started with updating your mod. This isn't a comprehensive list of everything you need to do, but this is just what I ran into when updating my mod expanded resources. So first, when you update your mod every time from an old version to a new version, you want to go to your mod folder, and all you want to do is change it from 1.4 to 1.5, and then add this point star here. So that way, whether or not it's 1.5.0, 1.5.1, 2, 3, whatever, it'll all work with 1.5 point whatever. So, so just do that, change the supported version. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is um, change this background right here. So this is actually uh, something I haven't been able to figure out yet. I have the file you're supposed to change it to, so load underscore tiger, but it is not, it's, it's not working for me. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe I'll, I'll figure it out a little later, but um, I'm not sure what the problem is. Uh, next, another thing that was changed was the bookmarks. So under your bookmarks here, let's go ahead and drag this into Sublime Text. Uh, so the only thing that was really changed was the different countries down here. So China, People's Republic of China, their different ideas, things like that. So instead of going and adding all this new stuff, if I were you, I would just go into the game folders, go to common bookmarks, copy this, paste this into your folder, your mod folder, and then just add the stuff that you changed. So for me, that was just changing a couple uh, focuses or ideas like this Rhineland idea. Um, USA has industrial superpower, resource efficiency, etc., etc. So that is all for bookmarks. Then for ideas, you are going to want to change just a couple things in here as well. So if I scroll down here, I should be able to find this uh, War Support Weekly and Stability Weekly. So right now you should have Unity underscore Weekly, but because National Unity is not a thing anymore, you're going to want to change that to Stability slash War Support Weekly. That's all for um, ideas that I found. So the next one is event changes, which is kind of just the same thing, changing from Unity to, oh, here it is. Um, what was it? Uh, War support. So right here, instead of doing like add Unity and um, add War support, we're going to go ahead and change this to uh, or excuse me, instead of doing add national unity, we're changing this to add stability and add war support. All right, next we have country changes, which is a little more complicated if you have changed um, like China, like I did. So you see in, in the uh, 1.5, we have this stability stuff here, but we also have all the DLC stuff. So instead of just adding all this stuff in, once again, I would go into your game files, go to um, history, countries, China, copy paste into your mod file and just add the stuff you needed. So for me that was just low efficiency and supply. Alright, that's it for uh, country changes. Finally, we want to go to our states here and there were a lot of province changes, especially in Asia. This was actually the error list I have uh, for my mod. These top five up here are known errors and there's no way for me to fix them but all of these down here are just different um, state errors so what does this mean basically it's they added like new states or shifted provinces within the states right so if we look um, all of these say for state 606 so in your states file type 606 open it up here and these different provinces, all you need to do is delete them from the state and all of the errors go away. 
and you're good. So for example, 1099, uh, 1125, 1171, 4105, 4173, 7104, um, 10044 here. 11, 9, 3, 7, and 12, 19. After you delete all that, do control S and you should be good. Then you can just delete those from your errors and continue down. As you can see, I still have a few more to go. Finally, we have the biggest changes that I found in Waking the Tiger, which were the interface changes. So all of these files right here, you're basically just gonna wanna make a new folder on your desktop and call it old files and put those in there. Uh, as you can see, I actually did this with different files that I changed. So these are the files where I actually copied from the game, uh, pasted the new file in here, and then just added what I needed. So you can see I have the different bookmarks here, uh, the different countries, and then a lot of this core stuff as well. Because the issue I was facing was when you would play the game, um, a lot of the different tabs would not work. So once we load in here, should take just a second. Okay, so these tabs up here would not work. There would be no background or something would be off. Um, but all I had to do was go into my folders or into my files. So we will just click core. Now, luckily, I, uh, I specified what I changed, right? So if I go down here and I click expanded resources, you can see all I did was add these right here. And this was just for the main menu. Um, if you did not do that, you're going to have to search your your files to see what you changed. But once you find it, you should be good. So all this was doing right here was just adding these two, two button files. So then what you would do is just drag this core file out into your old folder. Go into um, interface copy and paste the core file and then just copy these two things into the new core file and you're done. So that's really all you have to do to update your mod. Um, those are just the eight things that I noticed when trying to update expanded resources. There should be an update for it by the weekend. Um, I, I, I've been really busy with school that's why this video is kind of unedited and um, yeah I, I hope you all do enjoy this video. Thank you all for watching this week's stuff on Waking the Tiger. I hope you all are enjoying it. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.